Welcome to the Oakland Swimming Notebook. My name is Neil Rule, the voice of the Golden Grizzlies, and we're joined by a Michigan Sports Hall of Famer and the longtime head coach of the swim program here at Oakland University. Of course, he is Pete Hovland, and Pete, always enjoy these conversations uh, with you. We've been doing it a long time, and it's great to be back with you. And, you know, we didn't know if we'd get here, Pete, but here we are. Yeah, this this is kind of I'm looking forward to this uh, an opportunity to, to talk swimming a little bit instead of you know all the other stuff the COVID stuff related stuff it uh, it's right around the corner and you know less than uh, uh, oh gosh it's coming up on I mean, about 48 hours and we're gonna have our first competition and uh, you know it's been quite a while since uh, you know we, we had confidence enough to, to to say that maybe I should be knocking on wood or. <laughs> rubbing a rabbit's foot or something you know uh but uh so i don't i don't i don't jinx it but uh, no really looking forward to it it's a long time coming and and it couldn't come any sooner uh you know just for all of us are you know we're struggling with the getting back in shape and the physical part of things is stop and go and stop and go and stop and go and and in a sport like ours it's so aerobic endurance is so so much of what we do and to have that disrupted so many times uh you know, they, 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 people say that you miss, a, miss one swim practice and it's like taking a week off, you know, and so it, it, it adds up in a hurry. So we're, we're trying to get back to that. And I think that's the easy part. It's going to be the emotional part that, that, uh, uh, that, that we, I think that, you know, we're right at that time right now. We're at a cusp and I, I think the meet this week, uh, having something to look forward to. I think they've been a little reserved a little bit waiting for the other shoe to fall or, you know, somebody to come in and say, <laughs> sorry, but, yeah. but uh, you know, kind of thing. Cause we're all so used to that, but uh, uh, we're starting to get excited. And I think emotionally, mentally, that this is a real good thing and, and look forward to something next week and the week after. So uh, hopefully uh, onward and upward and, and uh, we're, we're, you know, full, uh, full steam ahead. Uh, Pete, when you look at it too, and, and certainly everybody's happy to be back, we, we know the deal uh, with your program. I mean, the, the names change, but the performances don't. Uh, I am looking forward though, you know, give us, give us those couple of names that we do have to look out for. It, because as I look at this roster from 35,000 feet, kind of looking down on, on a piece of paper, there are some very accomplished resumes. I mean, even for you, Pete, I mean, even for you, even for your program, there's some very accomplished resumes that, that are in-house right now. Yeah, no, there, there is. And I, and I'm fortunate. And I, you know, I, I've been playing around now that we know that we're moving forward. We know that the conference meet has been pushed back to April. You know, I'm starting to look at who's, who's my top 18. And, uh, you know, I, and, and, and I can go in a number of different directions and stuff, but, you know, it always starts on top. There's, there's certain names every time you, you just pencil them in. And, but, you know, when I was, when I was looking at the, the, I was doing this just the other, over the weekend at home, watching one of the football games, I was starting to pencil in and, you know, I, I put in, um, you know, Susan Legrand and I put in Emily Acock because, you know, those were the swimmers of the year last year and swimmer of the meet and things like that and freshman of the year and, and, uh, you know, you go to the guy's side and you, you throw in a Marco or uh, a Rudy and, and, and a Christian or something. But, uh, you know, you, you overlook people even, in, in, and I do so. But, you know, you like look at Sydney McDowell, you know, school record holder in the breaststroke events, NCAA B cuts. She wins the breaststroke events every single year. She's probably the closest girl on our team to qualifying for Division Ones. And, you know, we did, we didn't, we don't even hardly talk to about her, you know, and, and she's just, she is steady Eddie and she's just, uh, I think she's really epitomizes a, a lot of what, you know, Oakland kids are really all about. And, and, uh, you know, what I, I think, uh, two years ago at, at IUPI, she scored uh, one less point than the top swimmer, you know, in, in the, in the whole championship, but yet we're, we're not talking about her and stuff. So, I'm fortunate to have people like that, you know, certainly Susan and, you know, uh, uh, gets a, a, a lot of the attention and deservedly so, but you gotta, you gotta throw, uh, you gotta throw Sydney McDowell right in that group. And, and then you can come back with, you know, and, and even her, you know, the, the person that backs her up, Taylor Bailey, you know, just as talented and, and uh, might not be quite as accomplished yet, but what, what a, a great example Sydney sets for somebody like, like Tara, uh, like Taylor and, and, uh, and Kira Bruff too. I mean, gosh, darn. I mean, the events that she swims and the dual meet, she can swim just about any distance. She can swim just about any event. So uh, we're, we're, we're in a good situation when you, you know, you look top three, four, five, it's, it, those names are really easy to write down on a piece of paper and, and on the men's side, you know, same kind of thing, you know, you, um, 
uh, you, you go, you know, unfortunately, Rudy uh, Aguilar is, is redshirting this year, but, you know, behind him, you, you, you've got a, you know, you, you've got a Christian, uh, uh, Christian's coming through and, and uh, Ryan Gayhab transferred um, uh, in. So you got Christian Bart, uh, Ryan Gayhab, uh, and then, you know, you, you got another, you know, kind of, and it's funny because they, they, they date each other, Mac Flowers and, and Sidney McDowell. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not or whatever, but, uh, you know, he's the same thing. He's just, he's there all the time. He's the top butterflyer in the conference, one of the top sprint freestylers. He's so versatile in our lineup. So we're fortunate to have a lot of people like that. And I think Ryan Gayhab has done a lot for us transferring back in and from Missouri. And, you know, last year was kind of an adjustment for him and stuff. So expecting big things from him. Um, Christian Bart's just been getting better and better every single time he jumps in the water. Um, you know, Ben Davis in the distance event. Andrew Bernsdorf was a superstar last year as a freshman. And, and then you got the swimmer of the year, freshman of the year, Mr. All Everything, Mr. All World, you know, Marco Kotnetsky, you know. And uh, his countryman, Ukrainian buddy, uh, Daniel uh, Herbelny. So we, uh, we, we're, we're pretty deep in a lot of events. We've got the high end covered. We've got the relays covered, uh, um, you know, and, and, and on the women's side, you got Bernie Turchi in the diving board. So uh, we're, we're in a good situation. I'm excited about it now that we, we've got the green light. So hopefully we stay healthy and just keep moving forward. I think stacked, uh, stacked is the term uh, that you used. I know coaches don't like to say that. That's more of a media thing. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and say that for you, Pete. You guys are stacked. <laughs> you know, so uh, there certainly is a lot of depth as we look around. But, but we talked about the top in names and the accomplished resumes on both the men's and women's side. And, and Pete, I, I kind of had a question program-wide with the success that you guys have had. And you and I have talked about that a lot throughout the years and, and into this year again. How, how do you, how do you guys fight? How, how do the swimmers and the student athletes fight complacency? I guess, you know, sometimes you, you might fall in love with looking at that resume and, and maybe you cut a corner or something like that, but your program does not do that, has not done that, and probably will never do that. How, how do you, how do they fight that? Yeah, well, probably the, the, the easy answer and, and, and for them, and not so much for me, but for them, you know, the elephant in the room for us is the consecutive streak of championships, you know, right. who wants to be the, you know, part of the group that, you know, that, that doesn't come home with, 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 the, with the championship, right? So, you know, that's always in the back of their mind, I know, because I hear them talk about it and, and things like that. But, you know, for, for us, I think, you know, and, and, and maybe my, you know, my philosophy has always been that, you know, you've got this short window in life to, to, do, you know, be able to participate in, you know, something that you're really, really, really passionate about. And you get to do it with a, a, a great group of people. And, and, and so our chase becomes, you know, bigger than, than, than ourselves. Uh, we're participating and competing and, and, you know, for something that hopefully is bigger than just ourselves. So that, you know, kind of gives it that little extra incentive or motivation or, or pressure or however you want to look at it, that, that there's a bigger goal out there that we're all trying to accomplish and, and we're, we're, we're trying to excel. We, we, you know, we're, we're chasing excellence and you've got four years to, you've got a four year window to be the best you can possibly be in this discipline we call swimming and diving and stuff. And so let's, let's do, let's use those four years because they, they all admit it goes by really, really fast. And so every opportunity we get, you know, every practice, you know, every competition, you know, why, why settle for anything less because we know then it's just one less opportunity to chase excellence and to be the best we can possibly be. And, and, and you know, and, and, and I know that that's tough and it's easier said than done, you know, every day come in and try to be your best and, you know, really leave it all out there, you know, all those cliches we hear and stuff, but, you know, there's, there's truth to that. And, and that, that's what we try to get them to focus on is let's, let's, let's win today. You know, let's, let's, you know, let's, let's have the best practice we can have now. And if you can keep, if you can stay in that moment physically and emotionally, and, and uh, you can do that with the help of a great team around you and a great staff around you, um, you know, there, there's a chance that you can get to that point when you, you know, hang it up and you walk out and go, you know, hey, I know, you know, we had everything that we needed and we gave it everything we had and, you know, that that's the best I, best we can do. So it's not so much about the championships because those things come with, 
you know, striving to, to be really, really good at something, to be the best you can be at something, whatever that is. We don't know what it is until we try. So that that's my goal is, is just trying to convince them that how do you know, you know, so don't settle. This sport is way, way, way too demanding. You know, um, it's, you know, your face is in the water. You know, you're not talking to anybody for four hours out of the day, you know, and you're just watching that black line. And, you know, I think there's even a movie made on the sport of swimming about chasing the black line. And, you know, that, that kind of sums up what these guys do. So think about that for a minute. Now, we've tried to spruce it up a little bit by buying underwater speakers for him a little bit but um but no seriously and and you know in all seriousness it is it's just like you know let, let's you know don't sell yourself short you know just go for it and, and and see where it takes you and if we can get you know people to do that just a little bit each and every day and and you know each year you know we're going to be a little bit better than we were the previous year so um you know I, i'm not I've never complacent because i i don't know what the you know, what the ceiling is yet, you know, we've had great teams and, you know, we're, we're, we're winning championships, but, you know, we, we want to get people to, N, you know, to NCAAs, we, we want to win the NIC championships, we, you know, so there's still a lot out there that, that we're chasing and a lot of things I have or, or try to find for them to help them uh, to make it a little bit easier to distract them a little bit more when they're working so hard. Um, you know, and, and, and again, to hold those things, those carrots, those prizes out there for them, you know, if that's what helps motivate them a little bit. But uh, yeah, no, it's this, uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've never, ever thought, you know, hey, you know, this is good enough. It's just, uh, um, you know, I'm hard on them. I think I'm as hard on them now today as, as I've ever been. And, and I told them, you know, uh, in a team meeting, you know, probably when we, when we first came back two weeks ago and, and I, I said, you know, there, What's, we don't know what the normal is now. And, and I, I said, you know, and maybe for us is it's to push you harder than you've ever pushed before. So we don't have an excuse come April and say, oh, COVID this or oh, COVID that, or, you know, no, that that's that we're, we're you know, that's going to be our challenge. That's my challenge to my staff. That's my challenge. You know, screw COVID. We're not, we're not going to use it and stuff. And, and yet we certainly know that it's affected just about everything we do every single day. And yeah, but that's going to be one of our challenges this year. No, we're, 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 we're going to, we're going to do well. We're going to exceed, we're going to excel. And I said, we're going to have the best conference championship we've ever had just because. Well, Pete, you got me fired up, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to get in the water too. Do you, get, do you guys need a cannonball, you know, a cannonball specialist? <laughs> That'd be a great way to start things off. You know, about uh, three fifty-five on Friday, we'll, you know, the ceremonial first cannonball off the high dive. Yeah, right. we'll have you on the we'll, on the open Zoom there, buddy, and, and uh, we'll, that'll be a good way to get us started. Maybe, maybe we'll have to hook something up for charity a little bit later on. I'm not ready to go there yet, but Pete, <laughs> as always, man, it, it's great. It, you know, it's great talking to you, and I know we're going to do it again soon. Okay, appreciate it.